This is a poem called St John's Lock. It's about the lock of the same name on the River Thames at Lechlade in Gloucestershire, allegedly the first navigable area of the Thames. So St John's Lock. Lock gates close. Cold water effuses, sluices from another level, wells inwards as a translucent rush. It surges upwards, beats, bubbles, engulfs a chamber of mortar, bricks, wood, rust. Motor launches and moored cruisers are borne aloft. They wallow, creating ripples, as hydraulic forces force the issue. Nothing spectacular, just a smaller currents to confuse the senses of those who dream of higher levels. Humans are spared the violence of the undertow at the river bed and sluice entrance. A maelstrom where sediment flows as viscous sludge, a cloudy dredge where trout, perch, roach and rud endure the pull of the rising flood. To cautiously touch and taste nutrients through various sensory protrusions, they imbibe things dead and alive, parts of par, row and rough, and suspended plant detritus, particulate matter, the disturbance whirls in vortex rings. Only the occasional gleam from a fish scale denotes the underwater gale. The liquid becomes clear, calm and still, until lock gates close to bridge the hill.